Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. Bonsoir. Good luck. Bon chance. Buena suerte. Buena fortuna. You know any more? I am sorry to those of you who may have seen my hand coming out of Uranus. Not the planet. His anus. <laughs> He's transitioning from a his legs are over there. He doesn't have his towel on. Donuts don't need pants. Bagels need pants. Exactly. The chair back is in a completely different <laughs> locale. <laughs> what? Oh, exactly. What's going on? Oh, okay. So I'm going to keep you low. You're on the down low. To those of you who are doubting Thomas's, I have proof. <laughs> Don't let this take away from my credibility, okay? Don't let it take away. I do want you to present. Would you please present Donut? I just... <sighs> the other day I was like... I was thinking about James Naismith. And I'm shocked and I think I'm shocked. That's why this is happening with the left. Because I was like, it's 1891. The 13 rules of basketball, out of which five are still in use, right? Yeah. And he's Canadian, which is probably why all the Canadian hubbub. Hullabaloo. Uh, and, um, and I found myself thinking about Diggins. <laughs> I was thinking how shocked I am that I like Dickens. <laughs> but I mean to the point where I was like, yeah, Trump Dickens had a big thing for the, uh, you know, the, 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 the anonymous benefactor who wants to make sure that the child doesn't have to go through the hardships. That's a big theme in his, in his whole repertoire. But now that you know all these people and you tell me stories about them, I mean, it's weird. I'll go back and look at history and be like, oh. Thank you, Ernie. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> thank you. So, um, I thank you. Will you please take over? Thank you. I'm going to translate for Donut, who's now transitioning into a bagel. And uh, that's why you're on the down low, because um, my hand must not breach the fourth wall again. Okay, great. Please tune back in. Donut's going to be doing a brief, and then the debrief. He's going to brief you. To take, to brief, and then debrief. That should be enough proof. But I'm gonna go one step further. Okay, which one should I do? Nobody will believe that I ever had a hundred dollar bill ever, so I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna go for the ultimate proof of the future. Are you ready?
so as I've mentioned before, sorry, Tony, you were gonna do this. Thank you, thank you. Well, good. I am. Um, things expand when you go into the future. Okay. I think we all agree on that. <laughs> Again, if you're following Dr. Ekman's work, these are macro expressions, so don't worry about them. Only worry about micro expressions. <laughs> Okay, I have other proof. <laughs> I have other proof. I have proof that's even better. Trying to hold it together, donut. You can clearly see, based on the signs of my hand and the fact that I never cut this video. It's the same sound, you guys. That should be proof enough. This is the real size. Would it have? Would it have expanded? would have expanded that much if I hadn't really been in Houston on the 28th yesterday to watch the Lakers play the Rockets 